Hey everyone, so I am back with another video. So this is my third video this week. I am on a roll. Um, so yeah, this is how bored I am because I'm just making so many videos right now. Um, but yeah, I just have a small haul video for you guys. It's not a big haul. I think I've probably got like 10 things or something. But um, I thought I might as well do a video because it gives you guys something to watch and it gives me something to record as well. So yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, get straight into the video. So I've lost my kind of makeshift tripod thingy my bobby that I normally use. So unfortunately you're just going to have to put up with some very dodgy camera work today because of... I can't bother finding it and I can't bother making another one because I made it out of Lego and stuff. And it's just finding the box of Lego and making another one. And yeah, basically I'm just a bit lazy today. Um, so the first two things I got are actually for the mice. Now, I thought these were so cute and I've seen these so many times, but um, I've never ever picked them up. But basically they're like little candle holders and they have like this, um, it kind of looks like a little, well, I call it a little dish, but it kind of, it's just like a little dip on the top. Um, it's got a little hole in there and then it's just got two little holes on either side. Now these are super cute and I was thinking that Obviously they could sleep in there and I could put food on the top bit and obviously because mice like to climb this will be perfect for them so they can just climb on the top and eat their food and it's big enough for them to sit in as well. So these are super cute and I got these from um, Poundland um, but I did want two of these stripy ones but they only had one stripy one because the other one had like a massive chip in it. So I just went ahead and got one stripy one and then I got one kind of custard yellow kind of colour so I'm not too sure which one's going to be for which yet but um, I just went ahead and bought some of those if they fit Nemo in I might go back and get another one because I think this would be really cute for Nemo as well but obviously these were just a pound each so the next two things I got aren't anything exciting um, they're basically just so I could store the treats in because I'm having a massive clear out with treats and I'm just not liking the organisation which I have for the treats at the moment um, so I went to B&M's and I saw these pots now I've seen um, cool cat nat nat 44 i think she had them a year or so ago now i don't actually think she makes videos anymore on youtube either but i saw them in her videos and then i just saw them in a ton of other people's videos as well and um i kept forgetting to pick some up and then i saw them so i was just like right i might as well get some um i'm a little bit behind with like all of this stuff but um yeah anyways i finally got some tubs so you get five in here and they all stack and they actually like stick to each other as well so each of the tubs has got like this little lip on it and then on the um, lids it has like a little dip in there as well so they literally just do stack together so you don't lose them all um, so you just get five in a packet and I got these from B&M's and they were just 99p each so these are going to be a great help to store my treats and things because of I just lose the packets and then um, the organisation thing I've got at the minute just isn't really working that well for me so I just thought I'd just go ahead and buy some of those so I just went ahead and bought two of them. I might not need all of them, but I thought I might as well just get a couple of packets so then I've got enough to last me for a while. So again, the next two things aren't exactly very interesting, um, but these are actually going to go to the farm. So I've got quite a lot of head collars and lead ropes for Storm. You've probably seen them in like my past haul videos and stuff. Um, but at the minute, I'm just kind of like hanging them on the bit where I put my rugs and it's really annoying because I just keep losing them all the time. So... I've got a couple of these because of, obviously I could put head collars on one and lead ropes on the other and all they do is they basically just hang over the door. Now I actually have kind of like a little a little plank of wood in my stable I guess and it kind of like hangs from near the top of the ceiling so I can just hook these over the little plank of wood then they'll just hang down against a wall just so that I can hang everything in a stable. I mean I've got these rugs all hung up on one side so I can put these on the other side just so that everything is organised and so that everyone can find everything because of if I'm not at the farm then someone's like oh yeah do you want me to put Storm out and they have to like ring me and ask me where his head collar is because they just can't find it even though I've got that many they just can't seem to find any of them on the farm so I thought that if I buy these it might think make things a little bit easier and it might just make things a little bit tidier as well so I should be able to fit quite a few head calls and lead ropes on here I might get a couple more at some point to hang up a few other bits and bobs like my riding hat and groom and stuff and things like that but these were also from Poundland and obviously they were a pound each as well so the next two things I got were for my dogs now they do have a lot of toys already and I think I buy them toys every time I go into town but I just like to bring them home a little present and things because of I feel bad leaving them when I go out for a couple of hours so they always know that if I go out they get a new toy so I just went ahead and bought them a chase and chew squeaky pig so that is basically what it looks like um 
that was pretty much the only decent toy there. I did want to get them a bone, but they didn't really have any squeaky bone toy. So this was like the next best thing. So yeah, obviously it squeaks. And um, these are a great size actually for my German Shepherd because of he is quite big, so he does need quite big toys. Um, but these won't last five minutes. I get the feeling the feet and the ears will be gone within probably a couple of minutes. But, you know, it's just one of them things. He just loves to chew, so... I might as well just get him some toys he can chew. Hence the reason why I don't buy expensive toys. Everyone's like, oh, get Kongs, but we've tried them and he's chewed them to pieces. So, yeah, he's just a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, but, yeah, anyways, these were from Pound World, I think. So, obviously, these were a pound as well. So, I don't really mind them being chewed up because they are quite cheap. And you don't really expect them to last that long, especially when you've got, like, two chewy dogs. But... Just as a little toy and just keep them occupied for a little while. I don't mind spending a pound each time for them. So the next thing I got from Pound World was also for the dogs. And now it is just the Misfits Tangly Twisters. So it is the um, chicken and egg flavour. Now they've not had these before. They've had quite a few Misfit treats but they've not had these ones. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy them. I've never seen these before as well. So that is also another excuse to buy them the boys. Because um, they've had quite a lot of different treats. But um I just like to try them on different things and see if they like them and if they don't like them. Um, so with these, you just get seven sticks in a packet. Now, with these treats, I tend to usually snap them in half and give them half each because I don't like them having a full stick to themselves because obviously these are quite unhealthy compared to most treats which they have. Um, they mainly get, like, meat-based treats. Um, my mum knows someone who owns a pet shop and we get all our treats through her and they're, like, really healthy treats. They're, like... Um, proper meat i think most of them contain like 80 or 90 percent meat so um compared to treats like this where they only contain like five or ten percent meat um it is quite a unhealthy treat compared to the ones they normally get but as a little one-off i thought it wouldn't hurt so i just went ahead and bought them a packet of those and obviously those were a pound as well so the next thing i got is for the cats now it is just the harrington's treats with chicken so the cats haven't had these so again i thought i might as well buy them and see what they think of them so this is just a 65 gram packet. Um, so with this, it says no soya, no beef, no artificial colours, flavours or preservatives. So that's really good because of with pet treats, you tend to get a load of junk added into them. And it's just not very healthy. And most people don't tend to realise that there is all this rubbish in treats and things for animals. It's the same as food as well. Um, most people don't realise, but like animal food is just mainly junk depending on what um, brand you buy. I mean, it's like... Whiskers is supposed to be a really good brand of food, but that has actually got a lot of bad things in it. Um, and then most people tend to like bulk cat food up with like vegetables and things like that. And it's just not exactly very healthy for them. Um, so as a one-off treat, I did go ahead and buy them these. Um, so if we take a look at the composition on the back. I don't know if my camera's really going to focus with this because it is so small. I don't know. It kind of focuses, but I don't know if you guys can read that because it is quite tiny. Um, so yeah, that is basically the composition. Um, again, they do actually contain some healthy things and um, they are quite healthy compared to most treats I've seen. But still, they are a little bit un on the unhealthy side, I guess. So they don't really get these too often. Um, like I said, it is just a little treat. They usually get like one or two before I go to bed. So as a one-off, just to see if they like them. I decided to go ahead and buy them for them so obviously these were only a pound as well so the next two things i got were from poundland now i was actually really surprised that they had these in there because i didn't think they would because it's not the sort of thing you find in poundland but um these are actually supposed to be little bird houses now i don't know how a bird would fit in there unless it's like a super duper tiny bird um but these are basically all natural and they're made out of the same material as um the little grass houses and the grass nests and things and stuff that you can get and there's no staples or anything in there it is literally all just weaved together and there's no glue being used on it or anything like that um so i decided to go ahead and pick up a couple for the gerbils because the gerbils absolutely love toys like this and usually you end up spending about three or four pounds on like a decent sized kind of grass house or tunnel or something um so i did just go ahead and buy a couple of these now for the gerbils, I thought they'd be brilliant. I mean, they're not going to try and get into the hole because obviously this hole here is going to get them a place to start off chewing it. So it'll just um, help them to kind of like 
chew their way through, I guess, because it has got this little hole here. Um, no, I thought these were brilliant for the boys. I was not expecting to find these in there at all. Um, they did have quite a few left, so I might go back and get a couple more if they do like them. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is just like all weaved together. And then at the top, it's held together with um, some kind of... It's not rope, but it's not twine. I don't know what they call it, but it's 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 probably it has a word it has a proper name i just can't figure out the name but um i'll probably just pull that bit off and just kind of um leave it as it is because of i don't know if that's going to be edible or not for the boys but everything else is perfectly edible for them so i'll probably just pull that little bit off because i mean it's still all held together with all this weaved around it anyway but for a pound each i thought those were a brilliant toy and especially because the boys chew so much i thought that I don't really see the point in wasting about three or four pounds for something that's going to last like five minutes. So, yeah, if you're in the pound shop, definitely recommend these. It's probably the cheapest place that I've ever seen any toy thing like this. It's not supposed to be for gerbils, but I guess you just improvise. Um, so, yeah, I just went ahead and got two of those, and obviously those were a pound each as well. So then the last place I went to was B&M's. Now, I was hoping to get quite a few things from B&M's, but there wasn't really anything that caught my eye this time, whereas usually they do have quite a few pet products, which I really seem to like, but our local B&M's has kind of gone downhill a little bit. But, yeah, anyways, um, I just went ahead and bought some Huggies, um baby wipes now there is actually two packets in here they had like an offer on or something i think it was like a pound for one packet or 150 for the two um so i just went ahead and got this one now i use baby wipes for absolutely everything i have a packet at the farm which i use quite a lot um because of storm tends to dribble on me and he does sometimes get like a runny nose and he sometimes gets like a little bit of a gunky eye or whatever um so baby wipes come in handy i use them all the time i use them with the hamsters gerbils and mice as well so if i just need to like wipe something over dead quick i will just use baby wipes on pretty much everything um they're like the best invention ever seriously everyone's like oh yeah you bought baby wipes but baby wipes like just amazing they work on everything so they're always great to have so i usually keep a packet at home and a packet at the farm and everyone just kind of seems to rob them at the farm as well um so like i said these were just one pound fifty for two packets so there is 128 wipes in here so they do last quite a long time as well and obviously i've got the non-scented ones for the simple reason being that i am using them on the small animals and i don't like using scented products on them so yeah baby wipes are probably the best invention ever I think I just have an obsession with baby wipes. So then the last two things I got from B&M's is something which I have been needing for ages and I just completely forgot to buy them. Um, even though I've got like Wilkinson's up the road, I just always forget to go in. Um, so I just went ahead and bought two packets of dried mealworms. So for those of you who don't know, my hamsters, gerbils and mice absolutely love mealworms. Bruno's never had mealworms, but I'm going to try them on mealworms. But every animal, well, every small animal I've had absolutely loves mealworms. Um even the Syrians and usually people like Syrians don't like mealworms but mine absolutely adore them now I get dried mealworms because I don't want to get live mealworms because you get live mealworms you have to crush their heads and ugh, it's it's disgusting um so I do just get the dried ones because of it saves me um getting cringed out and it just saves a hell of a lot of trouble because obviously you could just open the packet and feed them as they are whereas with live ones you have to crush the heads and I just don't think I could have live mealworms in the house either. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just put two packets of these. So this will keep me stocked up for a little while. Um, these usually end up getting mixed in with their food. It usually gets mixed in um, to like a little kind of seed mix thing, which I've got. It's got like pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and stuff in which the pets do get um, as a little treat on a weekly basis. But mealworms are just probably the pet's favourite treats so I always have to have them in the house so these are just the 75 gram bag now these were 99p each so super cheap compared to um quite a lot of places I think pets at home's mealworms are super expensive so yeah I always tend to just go for B&M's because it's all the same stuff it's just in different packaging so yeah cheap and cheerful I guess but uh definitely recommend mealworms if you've never tried mealworms for a small animal definitely recommend that you buy a packet they do have a weird smell, um, but once you're used to it, you don't really notice it anymore. But honestly, try mealworms with your pets. They go crazy for them. And if your pets don't like them, you can always chuck them out in the garden for the birdies. And uh, 
you might get some cute pictures of birds in your front garden. I'm just, I'm just going all weird now. I think I've had too much sugar this morning. So here is just a quick overview of everything which I got for the pets. Like I said, it is only a small haul because of the pets don't really need anything and I'm trying to cut down the amount of money I spend on them because I just seem to waste money on them all the time and I just seem to find myself chucking out a load of toys and things because I just have too many and treats tend to go out of date and things like that and I just keep forgetting to use everything. Um, so I am trying to cut down and I am actually going to budget how much I spend on the pets so I'm going to give myself like a certain amount and how much I could spend on them a week because I think it's just a lot easier and I think it just helps me manage my money a little bit better. I did used to do that at one point and then that just kind of went out the window. Um, so I'm back to kind of only buying essentials and then like maybe once a month splashing out on toys and things for them. Um, so yeah, anyways, as always, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!